Zombies are coming from the roof, as expected. Now, what I want to do right now is just move around. There's a there's a guard, security guard, just running around right now. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, dude. I've never seen this before. Hey, who's this? Oh, boy. Oh, oh. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dead Road to Canada. I'm your host, the Bird Notice Falcon. We did a video on this to kind of give you guys a bit of a heads up that the game is now available on Switch, Xbox One, PS4, and all that jazz, but I enjoyed my time with the game, and you guys wanted to see a bit more. So how about we continue our journey over here with Falcon 69, Trump the Rump, and apparently this um, this freeloader, Malachi, who decided to join. I got no chance to say no to him, he just decided to join by himself. So I think we're doing fine now to some degree. We're kind of low on food, and we're about to lose this vehicle here as well. But let's continue onwards and see how far we can kind of make it through here. And look at that. The moment I say it, the car breaks down. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. But remember, Trump the Rump's apparently a pretty good mechanic. So, abandon the car. Falcon punches the car. Now we're gonna have Trump the Rump try to fix it, and he pops the hood of the car. And he easily repairs the car in no time. Good job, Trump. Dude, Trump's an amazing, um... An amazing candidate here as a, as a good buddy. I'm not sure about this Malachi guy, but Trump's actually pulling through for us. The group finds an old game bonus TM. It's a handheld video game system that survived this long because it's built like a brick. It must be talking about the Game Boy. The Game Boy literally is a brick. You could kill people with a Game Boy, man. Try tossing it. Actually, don't try tossing it, somebody, but <laughs> let me tell you, that thing weighs a ton. Um, I, I know there's probably people here going like, what's a Game Boy? Well, I'm sorry to say, that's the, the era I grew up in. Uh, there were a few games with it, all known for their extremely frustrating difficulty. Yeah, like this game, huh? Leave the Game Bronis behind. Should we play Dr. Dropness Deluxe? We have Dropness Card and we have Dropness Squadron. Ah, uh, this might be related to the vehicle, so let's go with the cart. Who should get to play Dropness Card? It's going to be rough on morale. Oh, is it? Oh. Fine, Malachi, you play it. Okay, so Dropness Card is a racing game starring the popular character Dropness and all of his pals. Probably Mario. Even if you're in first place, you can get hit by a homing toilet and end up in last place. <laughs> yeah, it totally is Mario Kart. His mechanic would actually increase, but his morale went down a level. Hmm, I guess that's fine. Probably could have gone with Trump on that one because he's the mechanic, but I didn't want to take a hit to the morale. I was hoping that this guy would get pissed off enough to leave because I don't want him here. He's just basically taking up extra food when I don't have enough food to feed everybody at the moment, so eh, it happens. So we have a city in the storm. A storm descends on the group in the pouring rain. The zombies of the city search for the living. So we have mild swarm. They're hunting and it's late afternoon. I'm... Um, I don't feel like we need medicine at the moment. I guess we'll go to the furniture store and hope for the best. And let's see. I guess we'll go with you guys. Let's see, let's see about the rolls here. Now at the moment, I, I kind of want to get Malachi killed. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm going to probably take him along if he dies. Cool. We'll probably leave Trump the Rump behind. I'm, I'm, I'm very protective of Trump, apparently. Oh, dude, I forgot to put this gun away. I don't need a gun. I'm a Kung Fu master. Right, hold on. Let's see if I can just really go into my trunk here really quickly and just dump that aside. Get, get away from my vehicle, you stinking zombies. All right, let's see. Uh, this gun needs to go. Hammer. I don't feel like I need the hammer at the moment either. Like, my, my fist is all I need. My, my karate chop is all I need. Look at that. Get out the way. All right, so let's look for this furniture shop here as soon as possible. We'll try to also look around. Oh, we got it right here. I guess we'll go there first, and if there's any time, we'll check out the other places. I don't expect to find much here. And thus far, it's looking like there's really not much other than just a bunch of goods to throw around. Get away from me. But we'll kill a couple of zombies here just to kind of keep them off of our back. And hopefully search a bit more fluidly. Hey, we got some food. Okay. Oh, there's some more here. Yeah, all right, look at that. A furniture store with a bunch of food. Don't think I've ever walked into one of those ever in my life. I've been to a couple of uh, Kias in my, my lifetime. Ikea, I guess, but never seen any food there. But apparently now they do. Okay, so nothing over here. So basically this entire map, if we don't find anything else, we came here for two food. Which I guess is fine enough. Oh, toss it over there. Let's see, can I walk out with a toilet? Because I would love to take a toilet with me. Yes, I can. All right, let's use this toilet somewhere else. I guess we'll go in here. Um, Malachi, can you... Thank you. Very kind of you. There you go. Get those zombies out of the way. How's that toilet again? What do we have here? Resting spot. Nothing in that clock. 
Nothing here either. Get out of here, zombie. Don't you reach at me like you know me. You don't know me, son. Malachi, how you doing? Malachi, if you want to die, then, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say, that's fine. I, like, I won't be heartbroken if you decide to, like, you know, get yourself killed. Can I, like, lock him inside of a room? <laughs> like, can I do this? Oh. Ah, he came out too fast. Ah, Malachi! Look, dog. I'm purposely trying... Okay, Malachi's too smart. He knows that I'm trying to abandon him. He knows the score. <laughs> like, Falcon, I'm not having any of the nonsense. You're not getting me killed here today. Well, we'll see about that, Malachi. If you wake up with a dagger in your back, you know who put it there. It was the Birdman. Trying to get you killed, actually. For that one, it's not even trying to get you killed. That's just straight up murder on my part. He's lost his weapon now, so he's a bit more liable to get killed. That's cool. Like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to kill him, I guess, but... If he wants to die, then that's that's perfectly okay by me. What do we have here? More food, hey! We're getting kind of lucky with the food scenario here. Even though I didn't really expect to find food much here, but we are. Out the way. Don't you dare. Touch me, you stupid zombie. Nothing gives you that right. Let's pop this one over here. There's a bunch of zombies over here trying to chase us down. Malachi! It's on you, buddy! Oh, Malachi's in trouble! <laughs> Malachi's in trouble! Oh, you made it out! How'd you manage that? I thought they, they had you cornered in there. Oh, oh no, Malachi, don't don't lure them to me, you scumbag. He's trying to return the favor. Are you trying to get me killed, huh? Right, we'll see about that. See how you like it. Can't blame him for trying. I am trying to get him killed. Okay, it's 7.20, so it's getting kind of late. I think we should probably start heading back towards the vehicle. Stop doing what you're doing, zombies. Oh, oh, oh. There, Malachi. I kind of saved your life momentarily there. Don't hold it against me. I'm trying to get you killed now. Let's see. I think we're still fine. I really wanted to get up to that room up north, but... There's just so many Zambros here that it's kind of worrying me a little bit. It's getting really dark, and I took damage right now. Ah, oh, that's on me. You know, at this point, I gotta go up to that room, because that's the reason why we took damage, because I'm trying to get up to that room. Now I gotta do it. Malachi! Look what happened! I got hurt trying to get you killed. Oh, we got food, though. You see, it was worth it. Because I believe we have medkits over there in the the vehicle. Enough of them. So, I think... One damage? Yeah, we have even one medkit found here. We should have enough of them back in the vehicle, so I get myself healed. But more importantly, we got some extra food. And we have one more house to check out. We gotta be really quick about this, because it is getting even darker. And that's nothing but bullets. Anything over here? Nope. Out the way, zombie. No, 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 no more damage to Falcon, okay? Hey, look at that, we found food inside the clock. Okay, more food? No food? Yeah, alright, guys, we got a lot of food here. Malachi, you know what? You might survive longer than I thought. I was trying to get rid of you to begin with just for the food, but... I might keep you around. I still might kill you just because I, I could use the food for trades as well. And if we get a good trade, I might pick it up. Alrighty. It's getting freaking dark here. Maybe next time I should bring a flashlight with me, just in case. Not like I use any weapons anyway, I don't need the extra spots. Mmm... Junk. Not worth it. Okay, we must go. We must go, because the music's gone now, so it worries me. <laughs> Let me take this table here with me. I don't think I've ever been out here at nighttime when it gets, like, dark from the outside. Or, like, when you start early and it gets dark, so... I'm a little bit worried. Was there anything up above? The vehicle should be... Oh, it's one more level up. So we gotta go around. Okay, Malachi, let's go, buddy. I guess you get to live for another day or two. Off we go. Oh! We, we left Malachi be... <laughs> I, I made it happen! I don't mind. Do you think I'm worried about that? No, I actually, I told you guys I wanted to kind of get him killed, and I wasn't able to do it, but apparently could leave people behind. This is the first time I've ever left anybody behind. That's awesome. Trump, can you heal me, or can somebody just heal me? I'm healed now. Dude, that's awesome! Now we have a ton of food for two people, and honestly, I just like rolling with myself and one companion instead of having, like, two. So this is perfect. This worked out great. We get to conserve food, and I would use the extra food for trade. Bed and breakfast. The group finds an inn, opens for business, and the owner wrings her hands. Give me ten food and I'll watch over you while you sleep. Yeah, <laughs> she is super creepy. Um, we could haggle it down to five food, or we could continue without sleep. This might just give me a, a lower bit of morale, right? 
I'm gonna go with lower morale. I think we're doing... The group peels out of there pretty fast. They eat on the road, but never find a secure place to sleep. We eat a meal. Oh, now we're tired. Oh, so we still had to use up food no matter what. I guess I should have tried haggling down to five just in case, huh? Oh no, now we're at a gas, though. Oh no. This is the curse of Malachi coming back. Oh, you left me behind, you scumbag? We're almost out of fuel. In a way, he kind of lucked out. So we got hurt here because we're on foot. This is the reason why you need a vehicle at all times. The group runs into a particularly rough stretch of road. There's nothing life-threatening about it. It's just a long and miserable walk. They get bruised and battered in multiple small accidents, so we are now hurt. Now, luckily, it only takes Trump, like, one medica to heal us up. Okay. Um, can you stop hurting me? Trump, can you heal, please? Um, we're one strike away each from dying, because of those two random events just now. And this is what I told you guys about the game. It's a fun game, but it's very RNG-based. You can have a good run, which I think things are going good now, but after two just bad RNGs, we're about to die. Now, all we have to make sure here is that we find this car, we get out of here, and Trump should be able to heal us in the road with minimal amount of supplies needed. So... Oh, we just found it on the road! Oh, thank God, I thought we had to go into a map and look for it. While driving on the dead road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Mmm... Commercial role, we have a crowded Yalmart and a fancy office. I don't think I've ever been to a commercial role in this game before, so I kind of want to do it. Gotta make sure that Trump doesn't die, right, Trump? You can't die, buddy. Because I need you to alive to heal me afterwards. You're the medic here. Now, we have a meat shop, which is going to be hopefully be pretty good. Oh, it's closed off. That's no good. Never mind what I said. The Budville Police! Now, it's late, which is the only thing that's worrying me. But the zombies, as you can see, are indeed really sluggish, so they're not too fast, which I guess is fine. But it is going to be a matter of just, um... Honestly speaking, I feel like we should probably just get the hell out of here as soon as possible. What do you guys think? I'll look around. If anything seems tempting, I'll go for it. But I think, I, I, I feel like I have a I have a bad feeling that something's going to go wrong. And either I'll die or Trump will die. Okay, good. We got that out of the way. So we're done here. Let's just continue onwards. This cannot be opened. No. Oop. Careful, Trump. Careful. We have a sports and jorts. Let's clear this out so that we don't have them follow us behind. I know it's late. But I don't I don't necessarily want to get swarmed on the way out. Good. It's just about done. Let's get rid of you guys as well. Get out of here. Perfect. Blew both of them up in one swing. He's knocked out. Alright, let's go in here. A couple of items here. Nothing that I really want to pick up for myself. Oop. Air horn. <laughs> Not sure what that does, but I'll pick it up, sure. Oh, you know what it might do? It might actually just make noise, obviously it's an air horn. But it might lure zombies to a particular part of the map. So we could probably use it like as a way to like draw them away and then go elsewhere. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna try it right now when my when I'm about to die, but it's something worth noting. I have a shotgun here. Pick that or a rifle, whatever. Out the way. Got some fuel, which is good. Not really worried about finding food at the moment because we I think we did a pretty good job at finding food. Um, let's go around three. Trump, you're tired? Okay, buddy. I know, yeah, the morale's down, I know. Let's just go around, avoid the zombies. Let's get out of here. No, don't don't use the fishing rod. Okay, you can't fish for the zombies. That's the end of the map. Okay. Um, we have Moe's pub. That would have been great if that would have been, like, most Tavern. This was closed last time. Okay, you know what? Let's just go. Let's go. Uh, I think the exit should be down through here. Where the hell did I park the car at? There it is. Okay, let's just go. There's really not much over here. We did check everything out, right? For the most part. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's go. Now, Trump, I need you to start healing us as soon as possible, buddy. We have a lot of medkits. Just use them up. That should cost us, like, maybe four to get completely healed. Come on, keep doing it. Ah! A bee flies into the car, even with a window open, it doesn't leave. It keeps flying right into the group's faces. This could be the biggest challenge yet. Panic or Falcon swats to be. I'm worried about me swatting wildly because I'm a judo master, you know? And if I swing and I miss, I might kill Trump in one single swing. Ow. I got stung. Trump, heal me! 
Okay. Trump's fully healed, and now I need one more heal. Get it done, buddy, please. Trump? That's fine. We're at two right now. The group finds a new person, Harveer. He is alone and wants to join the team. Harveer claims to be experienced in medical matters. He, he nearly admits that he wasn't a doctor doctor, but catches himself. Trump to Rum has a gut feeling that this is the truth. So, he, he's got a, a decent enough medical experience, it does seem. Of course, that's one more person I have to feed. Mm. And you know what? Trump does a pretty good enough job of healing me. I'm pretty sure I made Trump as a, a part healer, which gives him pretty good healing abilities. So just one med kit gives us one HP back. So I'm going to leave this guy behind. Sorry to say. Trump, heal me. Thank you. Okay. And we have 18 food for two people. That's good. It leaves us some food to trade as well. So now we're good. Non-useless junk shop. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery lying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. The group eats some decent meals. So we're down to like 14 food now, if I'm right. Go to sleep or tinker all night. This might just um, increase mechanic. You know what? Since we were tired last time, let's just go to sleep. Trump is still very, very down. Look at that sad face. This is the saddest I've ever seen Trump ever in his life. Choose your fate. Oh, no. Bandits again? Bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand anyone passing pays a toll. They want nine food to pass safely. We're down to 14. I said this leaves with five. Which would keep us safe, but hey, if we're down to five food, that's only one extra meal, and we're back in a situation where we're starving. Which is not good. Let's have... Trump says take a detour instead, let's give that a try. We spent extra gas for that, how much gas? Okay, we're down to 55. Down to 42 now. But at least we saved our food, and we didn't take any damage. Trading on the dead road, the group continues making progress along the dead road as long as one person remains alive. The dream of Canada lives on. You have 14 food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. So let's go in there at least to take a little perusal. Who's this guy here? How you doing, buddy? Kip Science Machine. Uh, let's see. For a small fee, I can permanently mass up your genetic code. 75% discount for the first zap. That's a deal. What does that mean? I can oh, permanently mess up your genetic code. Oh no, I don't know what that means. <laughs> should we try it? Who should get blasted by cosmic rays? Uh... Falcon? Oh boy! Oh, my, my strength increased though. And my fitness uh, increased as well. Oh, sweet! Hey! Look at that! I got stronger by getting blasted with a, a cosmic ray. Who would've thought? Who would've thought? I think that was worth it. Darius is hanging around the camp, tame but no one to follow. He must have been abandoned here. We could recruit him for five food. A doggy would be pretty cool, but check this out. We're almost out of food. If I could sell a couple of weapons, still, this would be cool, but... Oh, here we go! Sell cowboy raffle for one food. Yeah, it's the person who buys the weapons for us. So let's do that. Let me pick up a couple more if we can, and... I'm gonna see if we can recruit that doggy. Because I want a doggy. Um, maybe we could sell that. Air horn, I really doesn't work out, but let's try the gun as well. Trump, do you have any weapons that we could sell? Just the wrench. I guess you could keep that one, though. Alright, hold up. Let's see. How do I switch weapons again without killing somebody? There we go. Pistol? Nope. Don't want the pistol. Hammer? Alright, let's go with that automatic shotgun. It seems like a really good weapon, but I don't really trust the AI with guns anyway. And I can't use guns because I am a warrior. It's just not doable. Can you give me some good money for this, though? Seven food for the auto shoddy? Dude, we gotta do it, right? The auto shoddy sounds really good, but I can't use it, so it'd have to be Trump who uses it in a pinch. I don't trust Trump with that gun. Okay. Let's pick up Dogman. Dogie. Come with me, my friend. There we go. Onwards to Canada with the dog. I think that went fairly well. I can't be too upset about that. Every time you get a dog, it's a good time. Oh, here is our our next big survival mission. We have to survive for an hour and a half. So that'll be our exit over there. Oh, there's somebody up there fighting already, too. Who might want to join if we talk to them. Zombies are coming from the roof, as expected. Now, what I want to do right now is just move around. There's a, there's a guard, security guard, just running around right now. Oh, there's two of them! Oh, dude! I've never seen this before. Hey, who's this? 
Oh boy! Oh, oh. oh, but he's following me now. Oh, one of them's about to die over there, though. Alright, um, here's the thing. You guys are blocking the exit once I have to leave. So we have to, no matter what, at least keep them over here. Crowd control it a little bit. Crowd control. Guys, back, back, back. Hey, Trump's doing a pretty good job shooting over there, so that's fine. Those, those, pe those zombies are obsessed with that body. Check it out, dude. They're ignoring me for that body, which is great. I just want to make sure that we have enough room to get around them after we're done here. Because they keep, they keep swarming from the exit. So in a way, we still have to... Oh, boy. We do have to lower their numbers down a little bit so we can kind of sneak by afterwards. Oh, they're done with the body. Um, we need to get the security guard killed. <laughs> He's not part of my... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I can escape now, you're saying, huh? Well, how, how am I going to manage that? Okay, well, guys, guys, come around, come around. Let's see if we can just sneak by now. Security guard, I need you to commit the ultimate sacrifice for me, if you don't mind. Oh, we might do it! Oh my god, I think we got it! Trump! Oh, we made it, boys! Alright. That was scary. Luckily, that, that that body that security guard helped out so much, and then that extra one also helped us out with the crowd control. I was kind of worried there at the end, because they, they kind of blocked my entire exit there. Ooh. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. We're doing pretty good. I'll catch you guys next time.